What's up everybody? So uh, just another game that you can find on the Epic platform and Steam. It is called The Dungeon of Nihilbiak. So uh, it was released in 2020. It is oddly about 10 gig upon installation and is still going to set you back a few dollars. So not too long ago it was freely available on the Epic platform. Uh, you can still find it on Steam and Epic and it is oddly about 10 gig upon installation. That aside, it seems like some kind of a RPG which looks fun. Um, so let's just jump straight into it and see if it's worth anybody's time and trouble. I guess we're just going to go with that. And now we're just waiting for the chicken. <coughs> I mean, the graphics does look cool thus far. I mean, there's a Shrek kind of person thing over here. Like a club or a meat, piece of meat, 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 meat ogre. It's definitely meat ogre. Everybody's meeting the ogre. So the chicken's walking backwards, that's brilliant, man. On eggs, it's a lovely thing. So, uh... Hmm. Guess we are still getting there. Ah! You shall not pass! So they all are useless. Whatever the mysterious voice is, like some. First crazy. chapter A feeling of deja vu. The party <laughs> advances. A steely eyed ranger, a brutal barbarian, a ruthless ogre, a wizardess with fiery hair, an agile elf, a wily thief, a dwarf. Well, you know, just a dwarf. Together they have just crossed into the terrible dungeon of Nahelbuk. In the hell book. This All dungeon's right. nothing to write home about. Don't know what we'll find inside here, but it stinks. That's easy. The ogre just took a dump five feet from the door. <laughs> I've got a strange feeling of deja vu. Because of the ogre shit? Have you been here before? I feel like I'd know if I had. Probably not. No one's ever got in here before. By the way, what is our quest? We must find the 12th statuette of Gladalfura. A statuette? It's written in the Tablets of Skellis that only a one-legged gnome from the northern forest, dancing by the moonlight in the middle of twelve statuettes wrapped in hell. <laughs> As I was saying, only a one-legged gnome shall open the gates of Zaralbak and thus accomplish the prophecy. But what is this strange prophecy? No idea. We're only in it for the gold. That's why we came here. Yeah, and I knocked before coming in. And I called you a half-wit. Okay, ah. let's all get along, okay? Let's focus on the statuette. Do we have any idea where it's located? Like every statuette, it's in a treasure room, guarded by a powerful warlock. Battle! Hmm, maybe his powers are even greater than mine. Sounds a bit right. What kind of monsters live here? So, if you look at the random encounter table, these are the monsters in this dungeon. Several kinds of undead, giant spiders, orcs, and goblins. Hey, goblins! Underground trolls, warlocks, cursed knights, mutant rats, a bottle of oil, some toilet paper, two sponges, and ravioli. I think you're also reading your shopping list. So no dragons, right? Nah, well above our level, Cap. Anyway, let us go forth. Alright, great stuff. Okay, it seems like you actually get to control the whole group. The engine's pretty smooth, so uh, it's kind of sort of a League of Legends type engine going. Halt! You arrived at a junction and must face three choices. Hmm. All those doors are closed and blocked off by a strange glowing seal. Weird. And I'm having another deja vu. Oh, shiny, pretty. Probably some kind of magic lock we have to dispel. No way we're getting fucked over by some goddamn door. 
My cousin Krimli always says, if it's magic, hit it harder! No, wait! Ow, oh, my head. You fucking mor- Where are they? Shit! Hey! Dwarf! Elf! Dang it! Did everybody get lost but me? What was that noise? Oh, damn it, an orc. And I'm alone, of course, I'm alone! This is the perfect opportunity to discuss the matter of combat, a crucial subject when adventuring in mysterious dungeons. Open door! Gotta go! Me eat bad, go tripe! No, I I'm not done! Go away, you meanie! Sounds like an elf. Anyway, be cool. He's alone. This shouldn't be a problem. Well, it tastes bad. Reminds me of my granny's soup. Hooray! You saved me! Uh, this is... Uh, yeah, he, he's... Uh, I mean, they're gone. There were more than one? So many I couldn't even count them. But I killed one, which sent them all running. Are you all right? It was horrible. I found myself in these disgusting toilets. But where are the others? Uh, what's going on? It's because of that moronic dwarf. Must have triggered a magic trap. The whole party's been scattered around this floor. We need to find them. Um, how about we don't find the dwarf? <laughs> oh, we'll need his axe if there are other orcs. Don't you think you could handle them by yourself? Yeah, that's... Even the greatest heroes have their limits. Anyway, let's not hang around here. Here's the thief. Yippee! Plus, he's not the dwarf. Silence. You'll get us spotted. There are orcs in this room, and they've got bows and arrows. We need to devise a plan. Okay, I got a plan. You attack them while I stand guard, just in case somebody ambushes us. Eh, sounds like something a coward would say to avoid a fight. Absolutely not. It's very rational behavior. I've got a bow, too. I can shoot arrows. Yikes! Another good reason to take cover. When you're behind an obstacle, you're less likely to get hit. Even by friendly fire. Well, I've got no choice if we want to move ahead. We've got to get rid of those orcs. How many are there? I can only see one of them right now. But the others must be close. I got you. A group of one. I hate people who make a fuss over nothing. When fighting alone, charging head-on is fine. But when in a group, a battle must be planned. Careful positioning can save you from crushing defeats.
this chicken shit? We did, thanks to my perfect... Alright guys, um, I'm quite disappointed the with Surrounded the battle trees. style, which sucks, like they could have actually made it just a hack and slash, maybe cycled your primary character between the group and give you like a bunch of buttons to mash. Um, the turn based thing is not really my whole ordeal, so uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed, till next time, cheers.